Dude. So you know what this is, don't you? This is the greatest um, handheld platform for playing games. This is the Game Boy Advanced SP. The reason why it is the greatest handheld console of all time for me <laughs> is um, the battery lasts forever and it plays this game, Tetris DX. But over time I got too good at it, so I decided to step it up quite a bit. The next logical step is to play Tetris the Grandmaster 3 Terror Instinct, which is an arcade game straight from the end of the arcade era in the 2005. I won't build a whole arcade, but just the main parts, which is the controls of the arcade. And therefore I went, as always, to eBay and a few bucks and a few days later this arrived. So, meet the new arcade. The main thing of the arcade is the control board and this is joystick. It's not analog, it's just four buttons in the prettiest aka cheapest color I could get. As always, 10 buttons, although this one is different. These are smaller, so they may be the start and select buttons. So don't worry about the connectors, no soldering, or oh, even USB cable. And this will be the joystick board. So we will put all this on and in a box of MDF, and then we are going to have fun. Can't be that hard, can it? So basically we need a 4mm wood drill bit for fixing the joystick. I used the 15 millimeter bit to carve the, the hole for the joystick go through so it has enough room so it doesn't hit the walls. Then for the tiny buttons I used the 25 millimeter drill bit and for the big buttons I used the 30 millimeter drill bit. And just for cleaning up at the end Use some hot glue to fix it in place. Fast forward an hour or two, and here we are. Shada. And the USB cable. It's just the proof of concept to see if you can work with the buttons and if the layout is okay. Try to make it a little curved so I better fits the, my fingers so on the back it's getting a bit ugly special detail to the nuts emulators <laughs> which is just MDF and the pointy protection is just hot glue so I connected everything to the board I the board also offers you the option to plug into more buttons and stuff like auto fire, turbo and whatever. Like maybe I use some, some switch switches there later on. But now it's just a proof concept so I can do this. After finishing the proof of concept, I did the real version, version what is it, 1.0 I would say. I just went to the hardware store and bought the box, tiny box for, for keeping stuff in. Turned it around so I had a nice finish at the bottom, so the bottom is now the top. Put the smaller buttons in front, no longer in the back. And another hole for doing the wiring. And now it's nice and sturdy. So we plugged it in, as you see it immediately turns up as generic USB device. Okay, maybe a bit hard to see, and the joystick is working, ah, and the two buttons down here, obviously I just mapped to 9 and 10. Just for a quick test. We're going to plug this one in here. Wink, wink. Ta-da! See, it's working. Let's go to start. 
select something and we can it's really in the classical Tetris it never gives you the stuff you want to have Job is done. Thanks for watching.